you know, coaches often ask me, Miles, what's the, what's the secret to your results, your perceived success? And, you know, the answer to that question has changed many times over the last decade, but I'm finding more and more that there's a unequivocal answer to that, an answer that has been ringing true inside of me for years, but it only feels now like it's something that I can say above all else, this is it. And yes, it may change again, but this one feels different. And it was reminded uh, to me this, this, uh, on this jog with Sage. Um, it was a quote that I heard in a video and it, it really rung true and it's this. Win the war within and you'll win the war without. I see a lot of coaches, and I've been guilty of this, trying to win the war without. Miles, teach me about paid advertising, teach me about marketing, teach me how to get clients. And what they don't realize is that the more the more they work on the war without, actually, often the further away it becomes. And I've learned that over the past couple of years, uh, growing a business has been hard, but in some respects it's been easier. It's been easier emotionally. I've been less attached than ever, still attached, but less attached than ever to outcomes. And that's because I'm spending more time working on winning the war within. You see, my biggest battle in life has, maybe you can relate, has always been the war inside of me, the thoughts inside of me. One group of thoughts trying to tell me to go this way, one group of thoughts trying to tell me to go that way. And that kind of that inner battle, that incongruence has been a challenge for me. And uh, it's brought about depression, self-doubt, it's brought about some highs, it's brought about some serious lows. And there's one thing that I truly believe in life, it's that what you feel on the inside, it doesn't matter what you achieve on the outside. Because if the war on the inside isn't won, you can have all the money in the world, you can have all the clients you want, you can have the great business, you can live in the great house, but if the war on the inside isn't won, you never really win. And so this video is more of a call to arms than anything else. It's to ask yourself the question, you know, on, a, on, a, on an average day, is this my neighbor? On an average day, is it? No, it's not. On an average day, how, what, what emotions are you feeling? Are you feeling more emotions of fear? Are you feeling emotions of anxiety? Are you feeling emotions of gratitude? Are you feeling emotions of joy? Which, which are you feeling more often than not? And you've got to be really honest with yourself and answer that because there's many times that I've asked that question and the honest, the answer hasn't necessarily been, hasn't actually been true. So what you've got to do is you've got to ask yourself the question, which, which emotions do I feel more often than not? Because unless you can answer that, honestly, and make changes accordingly, if it turns out that the emotions that you feel more often than not are negative, then you've got to change that. You've got to work on that because otherwise you're building a house without strong foundation. You're building a coaching business without subsidy. And it will give you success, but it won't give you fulfillment. It won't give you joy. And it'll almost create more harm than good. I've had some results where I've, looking back on reflection, it, I thought I, it was what I wanted, but it actually wasn't what I needed. I've had some times where I've achieved great success and been miserable, and I've wondered why, and I realize it's because I thought that I could just, un, un, unintentionally mad, I thought that I could just arrogantly achieve, and that my life would be better, and it turned out it wasn't true. It turned out that it actually, in many respects, made my life worse. So, go back to that quote, win the war within and you'll win the war without. Make sure that you're spending uh, more time working on the war within. You know, I'm in a men's group, a men's mental health group. Uh, I have a coach, I have a mentor, I, I journal sometimes a dozen times a day and I really think through my thoughts and I really articulate my emotions and I meditate and I do yoga and I'm not telling you these things to brag, I'm telling you because actually those are the things Tony Robbins says Success is 80% psychology, 20% mechanics. And for me, it's those things, it's those things that help me grow a business faster than anything else. Um, Pareto principle, I truly believe in that. It's like you can go to the gym, 
But if your diet's not right, you're never gonna get the body of your dreams. So it's about making the right choices. Winning the war within over winning the war without is definitely a big one for me. And I hope that that, if you needed that today, I hope it resonates with you as well. That's it from me. I'm back to my run.